Okay, Pezza, first off the bat here, um, what the hell is going on, okay? What the hell is going on? Am I seeing some sort of fight from the opposition once again? That's not what this summer's about. That's not what any of these summers are supposed to be about. These are supposed to be cash-in summers. I want record-breaking numbers. I want to see comparisons to the absolute demigods and greats of the game. I have no interest in blokes that, whose names I've already forgotten showing that they are also excellent cricketers, okay? No interest in that. Nothing in it for me, okay? And me is the viewing public of Australia. I have no interest in whatever the bloody hell I watched today at the Gabba, our fortress, no less, Sam Perry. Just going to mention that word, the big F word, fortress. Is this fucker getting breached again? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Are we are we in the mm. realm of a review? I I will fly the flag for Cummins and his men. You know, I'm seeing Copes doing montages or packages. Sorry, of the summer of Cummins. We've all had them, and mm. I'm. But, and I'm seeing it five for 64, and I'm thinking, finally, we're going to get our bulk. We're going to get a shellacking and have that feeling for the summer. But instead, two blokes who aren't of our citizenry put on the biggest partnership of the summer. Is that both teams included? Mm, maybe. Uh, as, at well, least as far as yeah. Ball's Faced is concerned. We all... And uh, and I also find out that it's the biggest partnership Australia has conceded in a day-night fixture. Now, that mm -hmm. is cause for significant <laughs> concern. The Sixers have given up the title. Glenn Maxwell has some investigations to face. Now this. Uh, mm. is, is the generation unravelling? Pezza, this is the home of the Brisbane Heat. This is... The home of people putting buckets on heads and wearing KFC medallions around necks. This is the home of Craig McDermott, of Carl <laughs> Rackerman. Okay? This is what this is supposed to be. Okay, sure, we lost a test match once against India there. Okay? No one ever remembers that. No one's ever talked about it since. It basically never happened. Okay? This is supposed to be balls going through the fucking chest and blokes not being able to handle the heat. Different again to the Brisbane Heat or the Miami Heat, depending on which heat you prefer, okay? That's, that's a separate issue. I'm talking about this is where people come and they go, well, I can't handle this kind of pace. Okay, yes, we get some records. Yes, we see Trent Copeland doing excellent work saying, apart from, you know, I'm Munger, this is the greatest summer of all time. Even better than Mitchell Johnson's great summer of 2013-14 when he did the thing against England that we all remember. Better than that? Okay, what? You know, Mitchell Stark getting close to Lily? Not enough. This, this, this is not enough. The West Indies finished the day um, eight down for 266. You can tell uh, there's, a, there's a bit of sarcasm here, but there's also a little bit of question marks about, are the boys just limping through a summer? There's, is that what we're looking at here? Are the boys just limping through the summer because they'll, they'll get the job done? Kawaja, Manas, home ground, heroes. They'll score bulk hundreds, Smith in the runs. Cam Green, COVID, dropped the catch. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm scared, okay? I'm scared. I mean, I still expect Australia to win by an innings. Let's 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 have it let's have it right. Let's have it right. Okay, but uh, I can I can only concur. I mean, yeah, we could we could point the finger at the players who are playing and ask them to be accountable to the YouTube page or whatever the fuck this is, uh, or we could start to ask questions of the Gabber itself. He goes, I've got one for you, Gab Gabber at night. Is it, a, is it a day night aesthetic? Because I tell you what, it robs you of a certain hue, and that that mm. that four X sponsorship doesn't bounce off the you know the art the artificial floodlight as it does God's own sun. You know, does is it as yeah. Nathan Lyon says at the end of the day's play? Is it really a beautiful red ball wicket? Uh, you know, this is just a way of making excuses for these guys. Apparently, the ball got quite soft. Once it goes old, once that pink ball goes old, there ain't much you can do with it. And uh, mm. so it proved tonight. 
Let's also say, full respect to uh, De Silva. Anyone know where he's from, by the way? And um, and Hodgie, <laughs> Hodgie there. Where is De Silva from? What's he? What's what's he, what's his background? Hot man, Hodgie looking um, pleasing and aesthetically like like a sort of an effortlessly classic uh, aesthetic with the lid. The lid sits just right on the on the on the on the lid itself. Um, I. He's he's a good player, but um, yeah. I, I mean, you know, eight for, <laughs> eight for two sixty. <laughs> Fucks this shit. Yeah, yeah it's like fucking a, bullshit. A, a normal day of cricket where the other team, you know, <laughs> performs at yeah. at times. Where on any objective analysis, it's probably even if not unders for mm. West Indies. This is supposed to be. The deck of high humidity Hados, as we know. Yeah. Um, I agree with I agree with you, Hugh of the Light. Now the Gabba's already got a great history, okay? Like that I suppose they're lucky that they get a test match over this long weekend period because obviously um, uh, Australia Day tomorrow into the weekend. Um, so they so they sort of get that and also end of the summer, West Indies it's, it's a it's a little bit light on, isn't it? But they get they get the long weekends associated with it. So that's nice for them, I suppose. And they have turned out twenty six thousand people there today. I think there was some chat on the coverage that I was watching before, Pezza, about um the this this might be actually the most attended day one of a test match in Australia against the West Indies, which would be fucking amazing when you think about some of the amazing teams that have come out here over time. And this is the most attended day one. Um, not sure what that speaks to. Maybe, again, people just off the back of the Brisbane Heat success. I don't know. Maybe it's a long weekend thing. I'm not sure. But, like, um, anyway, um, that's I'm getting distracted. But, like, but um, what's, what's annoyed me more is that De Silva's runs have come when he's we, we bounced him out. And and we and we'd figured him out. We just you just got to go short. You just got to go upstairs. This upstairs, boy. yes. And I'm sniffing. thinking, I'm thinking, ah, oh, give him some sniffs. Mm. Yes, gets a couple of blokes on the hook, sniffs, mm. and he'll fall for the trap. Sniffs. And he scored a hundred uh, in the warm up game in Adelaide. Uh, so he's obviously had a bit of form, but we couldn't we couldn't sniff him. We, we just couldn't sniff to Silver. And you know what I wouldn't give for a start, but um, fuck, he played well uh, with. Um, <laughs> I've already forgotten his name, Hodge. <laughs> with with Hodge. <laughs> Hodge, how can you forget? It's so it's arrogant. Sitting ground, mate. It's so arrogant. We're rolling the R's there too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you know, so they they play well, but I get them upset that we couldn't bounce a guy out in Australia at the Gabba. You yeah, that's I mean? concerning. That's climate change report is this stuff for me. This, uh, this is this entitlement. I don't know what that word means, but um, what annoyed me more than that was. And I'm sorry, like I really, this pains me to say this, but there was a moment early in the game where um, Hazelwood nicked some poor bastard off, and um, and overruns Cameron Green with a um, <laughs> with a sort of pounded out a fist, fist bump motion. Now Green knows what what he's doing. You can see it's written all over the uh, the charismatic face there, you know, because Green has COVID, and I can only presume the rest of the Australian team does by their disgusting performance today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I just got I like uh look I'm I'm looking for some feedback from uh, like some views from others here I guess like Hayes the way Hazelwood uh sort of waved green away um now I just hadn't seen I hadn't I didn't know he had that gear uh and like and mm. it's, it's a good gear I'm just saying like I, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to pass it. You know, I'm trying to process where that comes from. That doesn't fit into my, to, to the sort of the wild bush horse country um, side mouth narrative. But it was kind of camp. Everyone's yeah, but and and th- and now I'm kind of thinking that's good. Like the the layerage is good. We're, we're learning more about Hoff. I I wondered whether he was actually, um, kind of paying homage to uh, you know the the werewolf dance from Michael Jackson's Thriller. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're all asking the same question: Is Josh Hazel with the gay icon that this cricket team has been dying out for? You know, because the movements were kind, they're kind of camp. And I was thinking, oh, hello, hello, boys, is that what I'm looking at here? <laughs> Josh Hazelwood, you know, or or he just, just he just has questions. he just has uh, he has that flamboyance in him. He just he just he just got that movement, you know. Yeah. Uh, so um, 
I don't know what else happened. Stark took 350 wickets, didn't he? We had a milestone. <laughs> 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 Can I introduce our good sponsors? Smith oh, let's do it. Optics yeah, okay. Australia. Go to smithoptixaustralia.com. Use the code FAST for 25% off your order. You know what? Many people have been saying, Pezza, boys, it's been a bit of a low-key low key summer. Well, you could high-key your summer by going to smithoptixaustralia.com using the code FAST for 25% off your order. Now, some people have been saying, hey, he goes, there's another series going on at the same time. How are you guys picturing in pictures? Picturing this, like, and covering two test matches at the same time. I know it's amazing the internet exists. I'm looking at the other series, and people will say uh, other sunglasses are available. No, they're not. No, they're not because in the other series that's going on at exactly the same time, those guys are wearing rival sunglasses, and they're not nearly as fast as these bad boys. And nor can you get a discount by following TGC on their websites. So don't even worry about whatever the fuck is going on over there because they look terrible. But in Australia, at the Gabba, these look fucking incredible. Yep. It just, just, just on that, um, another reason to avoid watching the screen in screen is that I learned earlier today that that's a honey trap uh, from... Um, from the AFP um, to, to find nonces yep. and nonce adjacents um, mm-hmm. um, to, to, who are watching the cricket concurrently, not to be confused with mm. Tom currently. Uh, so yes. um, th- just a little PSA in the middle of this uh, Smith Optics advert. If you yeah, Yes. So, something to think about. So, yeah, if you want to get behind Smith Optics and you want to be part of the Australian cricket team and you don't have the skills or ability, but you have just some loose cash line around that you're thinking, yeah, I want, to, I want to look amazing for the summer and the days ahead, smithoptixaustralia.com. Use the code FAST for 25% off your order. Pezza, you mentioned Mitchell Stark. He finishes the day with four for 68 of 20 overs. Um, he goes past 350 of your test match wickets. He is only a couple of wickets away from equaling Dennis Lilly. And indeed, if he takes one more after that, he will have passed Dennis Lilly. Now, um, you and I weren't of age to witness the greatness that was DK Lilly, the boy from the West with the flowing chest hair and the amazing gold medallions and everything that was Dennis Lilly. But our dad said that he was good. And you know what? If you call my dad a liar, well, you're a fucking prick, okay? So, so <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> but you look at Stark's record; it it's fucking good. Like it's <clears throat> like I can't believe how much shit he gets. <laughs> like he, basically, he, he, because, he, he, because he's been getting a bit less <laughs> in the last eighteen months. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know what happened, but it has got a little bit less, especially in the coverage. The media sentiment seems to have just sort of cooled a little bit. God damn it. Damn it. Hey, what, what a bowler. What a bowler. Was hey, it was my hero. Oh, it was my hero. Um, Look, my glasses are fucking But like, up. mate, mate, it's 350 test poles <laughs> averaging just over 27. What? That is fucking unbelievably good. But it's like... He sprays him. Just looks a bit slingy. He sprays him, doesn't he? And he can doesn't that, he, go he, for he, dro- he drops that front arm, sort of third, fourth spell. <laughs> and it's a bit flat. I don't like his body language for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he also mowed down a, a statue of Captain Cook and St Kilda this morning. Don't know how he did that. It was in Brisbane, but I think he did it. <laughs> I missed that news item, but I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, how good is the verb to mow? To mow down? Anyway... <laughs> What do we confuse with Motown? Anyway, uh, of course. Um, but Mitchell Stark was... Fu- I mean, uh, he picks up four wickets today. Um, he, his record with a pink ball, um, everyone knows about so well that I don't know them at all, but I'm not even have them in front of me, so I can't really tell you. But his, his record with a pink ball is is very, very good. Um, that was safe today. That, and, was, that was one uh, element of safety yeah. today, just seeing Stark finishes with four for uh, the Windy still have two wickets in hand. So now I'm looking at, you know, some, um, like, either numbers divisible by five and zero or like mm-hmm. once you get into the sixes, then you're in the Shangri-La numbers wise. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and also just the Knicks, Knicks at the Gabba maybe feel good. Kawaj, good catches, Smith, safety, Cameron Green. Okay, is, is COVID, Cam Green's got COVID hands at the moment. Let's be clear about that, okay? It's the first catch I've ever seen him drop, including that time when he, I saw someone throw keys at him, okay? Um, Richard Keys, that is. <laughs> now I wish I was there when somebody threw Richard Keys at Cameron Green. That would have been fucking awesome. Who threw him? 
Jamie Redknapp. He was sniffing around the back of it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that was all good. But should we set up the day's play tomorrow, Pezza? Now, I suppose there are some positives there that Australia haven't got to face the new ball at night, where it's obviously the hardest to bat in yes. these um, pink ball test matches. So that's positive. It's A for 266. You would hope that Australia will clean the tail for uh, minimal damage tomorrow, and then the boys can turn them over and go to work. Oh, I, don't, I don't really know what to add to that. If there aren't two blokes on 100 plus red tomorrow night, there's going to be fucking fireworks on this channel. Believe me. <laughs> 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 well, what does that mean, mate? I don't know. <laughs> We've got flares We're going to set houses. off fireworks illegally in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> uh, Travis only got 73 today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. But, I mean, judging by the... I mean, I don't know why I'm calling for that. Judging by the summer, it's a, it's a just-do-enough summer, isn't it? Mm. it it's, it's, it's milestones for the quicks. It's, it's feed bag, carrot, carrot feed bag... Milestones for the for the seamers, <laughs> and the, the the boys with the blade just doing enough. I guess we got some Smith opening stuff. Um, yeah. You know, hopefully he can do yeah. something there. If he doesn't, um, again, fireworks. Uh, and and if he does, all, all will be calm. But uh, I, what else? I'll tell you what, what else that, you that is. We've obviously that, we've that, that, watched the shit out of it today. <laughs> Mate, that is that is as good an advertisement for tuning into this channel tomorrow. If something doesn't go perfectly our way, there's going to be some fucking fireworks on this channel. So hopefully, fucking Shamar Joseph takes eight for, and we are going to be absolutely blowing up deluxe by setting flares off in our homes. <laughs> What's the fucking AFPs at the door? Because we've got picture in Mate, picture. If if I don't have some numbers to look at tomorrow night, there's going to be some fucking trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for waking joining my kids attention. up. Why are you waking me up, Dad? <laughs> Where's my bulk numbers? <sighs> Join us right here tomorrow, wherever you're consuming this. Or if you want to find us on a different platform, then you can do that. And you can watch us wear sunglasses at about 11 o'clock at night mm. uh, whilst we cover two games of cricket at the same time. Thanks, as always, for joining us on TGC. Thanks for supporting us here. And we'll see you guys on the internet tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>